This is Stuart Seiden with the International Partnering Institute uh, with Jeannie Cuddle of Department of Water Resources. Hi, Stuart. Hi. Good, Good to see you today. Yeah, nice to see you. So, Jeannie, tell me, where do you think the construction industry is in terms of broad adoption of collaborative partnering, and what can IPI and its members do to make this happen? A broad adoption, I think, um, comes from messaging and uh, marketing the, the benefits, both the metrics like cost and improved safety, but also maybe the softer side of the metrics where uh, better job satisfaction and getting through the projects with uh, really high performing teams, um, you know, that, that type of job satisfaction um, is a little bit hard to measure and actually put uh, a metric to, but I think that that's a, a definite Im a value that a good collaborative partnering project uh, offers. Mm -hmm. I like that perspective. So how does collaborative partnering help your organization reach its goals? Well, you know, as a state agency, our goals are try to, to deliver the projects uh, with the best public value for the state taxpayers. And so being on budget and on schedule and doing the jobs in as efficient of a manner as possible avoidance of claims or any type of uh, safety incidents are all things that we strive to do and, and partnering has been shown to improve projects on all of those fronts. Mm -hmm. So I think um, inherently it's, it's helping us reach our goals. Excellent. Um, what level of understanding do you expect uh, organizations you work with to have of collabor collaborative partnering and is that important to you and why? Um, being a novice in partnering ourselves, we've only been doing it now a couple of years and we haven't yet um, crossed the finish line with any of our projects that are doing partnering. Um, I, I won't throw stones. Uh, more than a few years ago, I was unaware of the, the movement. Um, so I think, again, just reaching out and uh, advertising the importance of the concept and uh, marketing the the process and, and the explanation that not one size fits all I think is important. Uh, I think in some organizations being on the owner side uh, people are a little hesitant and skeptical of what it means and, and what uh, commitments they're making and understanding that it's a bit of an organic process and that you need to be um, thoughtful in your application of collaborative partnering I think helps people feel a little bit more comfort when they're looking for the rule book. Very good. Well, thank you very much. Thanks, Stuart. Pleasure good seeing to talk you. to you. Yes.